For G2 Esports, 2018 was a fantastic year in terms of competitive success, branding, content creation, fun interaction, and brand partnerships. We've entered four new games, we now have 10 teams, and we've been part of 131 tournaments across the globe. We have finished this year with 48 top 3 finishes and 20 championships. Since we got our Rainbow Six team, they've won 3 out of 3 tournaments that they competed in. In League of Legends, we got 2nd place in Spring Split. Then, against all odds, we won the gauntlet and proceeded to qualify to Worlds, we ended up getting top 4 placement. After that, we applied to be a part of the LEC and thankfully, we got in. We got Caps, we got Mickey, and we moved Perks to the AD Carry role. This move is expected to make us the best team in the West. Counter-Strike wasn't the greatest title for us in 2018. Now, with Jackson Lucky, we do expect 2019 to be a much better year for us. In Rocket League, in our LCS, we got first and second. However, Worlds didn't go as planned, but that's why 2019 is coming. When it comes into content and content creation, in 2018, we produced more than double the amount of videos we produced in 2017, with 218 total videos. Fortnite, we really wanted to do something meaningful for the community. We brought the top eight best entertainers into Berlin, and then the top four joined us in G2 Esports for this upcoming year to be content creators and entertainers for the brand. We've put together the first ever game made and produced by an esports team called Samurai Arena. If you haven't tried it out, I recommend that you do. Our social media in 2018 has grown significantly thanks to you guys. Our videos and the content pieces we generate have reached millions and millions and millions of people. So we appreciate everybody from G2 is very thankful. One of the most rewarding feelings is to know that your partners trust you and that they want to grow with you. 2018 was a fantastic year in terms of building new partnerships as well as renewing old ones. One of the most relevant and impactful developments of the last year was definitely the hiring of Peter Musha, who helped us get into the next level operationally. Even though our community is global, we do want to increase our footprint locally. That's why we are opening a kick-ass office in Berlin that we hope to be able to show you in Q2 this year. As you can see, 2018 was a great year, but stick with us because 2019 is going to be even better. You have my promise.